Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, so we need to talk about Halloween Horror Nights because I was only there one time before and I was really sick the day that we went to Halloween Horror Nights and I couldn't really enjoy it and I felt like crap and we didn't stay for very long and it was a total waste and it sucked because I was sick on the day that we had tickets for. Horrible situation because I really, really, really want to do like Halloween Horror Nights to the max. And this year we are going to get the Rush of Fear Pass or the Frequent Fear or whatever it's called. Whatever it's called, we're getting like the Halloween Horror Nights season pass. Because not only do I want to go and make up for not going except for that one day, the theme this year totally, totally kicks butt. We got Stranger Things, we got Killer Clowns from Outer Space. <laughs> There's one that sounds it's like a carnival kind of, it's a... Oh yeah, they're bringing back the carnival because they had that before. Did they? I didn't yeah. remember. I think they had that in like... They did might, they have a carnival something like when we were there? They, they, I don't remember. I know that... I just know it sounds really cool. It's going to be... So the year that I went that I got sick was 2015. So like I'm really right. mad about some of the ones I missed. Like the Alice in Wonderland one and stuff. Yeah, I think there was like... Was it... Freddy vs. Jason that year, too. Yeah, Freddy vs. Jason uh, that year. There was Alice in Wonderland. There was American Horror Story. Yeah. Um, Insidious. We got to see Insidious, at, yeah. least, at least. We saw Insidious. We saw Walking Dead. Yep. And there's one other, uh, The Purge, and that the one purge, was like, yep. I don't know, something about The Purge that creeps me out. And then, like, of course, the scared ones. And we saw Bill and Ted. We did get to see that. But, like, that was about it. <laughs> that because was awesome. I was struggling, super, super struggling that day. But yeah, so we're doing the Frequent Fear Pass this year. And what else What else have they announced? Trick or Treat, which you haven't okay. seen. I have. I need to see that. Though. So we got to watch that one. we got to show Simon or whoever else is coming Killer Clowns, just yep. because that movie is hilarious. Yep. <laughs> I'm excited that that's going to be a scare zone. Uh, Revenge of Chucky. Oh, yeah. Revenge gonna of Chucky. There. Heck yep. yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, let's see. So anyway, it's like an 80s theme this year, which I think is totally awesome. And of course it's relevant because with like Stranger Things and It and all these popular movies that are based in the 80s that are coming out right now, totally going back to the 80s, which is awesome because I was born in the 70s. So the 80s were like me growing up and I remember the 80s very well. So mm -hmm. it's fun for me. I love the 80s too. So I'm so excited about Halloween Horror Nights. Here's the deal though. It's going to take us like multiple, multiple days to get through everything because while we're getting the season pass, we're not splurging for the fast passes. Yes. So there might be some nights where we can only get like two things done because of how late we get there and how long the lines are. It's just too expensive and we live here, so... So yeah, we'll, so we're going to go we'll over make it through. It's a Carnival Graveyard, Rust in Pieces, which sounds uh, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, carnivals in general are kind of creepy. creepy. <laughs> they are. Especially when clowns are involved. It says, the pieces and parts of multiple carnivals have gathered and left to rot. Bright colors turn to rust, cotton candy decays, and fun houses cave in. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. It does. It sounds really good. Cannot oh, yeah. That, that slaughter cinema. Yes, that's going to kick butt. But I'm really excited about Halloween Horror Nights this year. I want to know how many other people are excited for Halloween Horror Nights this year. Who's coming? Click, like, subscribe, whatever if you're coming because I'm going. I can't wait. I'm super excited. Mm -hmm. And within the next week, we're going to be going to Universal and we're going to be going around and we're going to be looking to see what kinds of stuff they're already putting up because it starts on September 12th. So we're just a little over a month out. So they're going to have to start putting the stuff up for it really, really soon. So I'm excited, super excited. There was something else about it that's really important that I wanted to say, and it's killing me that I can't remember what it was. Yeah, so anyway, about Halloween Horror Nights, the one thing, like, like we live here and everything, and I know a lot of vloggers that live in the area, they know, like, every trade secret about everything. But I'm going to be completely honest, I don't keep up with that kind of stuff. I just kind of go and have fun with it. I'm really terrible at social media, like just absolutely terrible, and that's usually where all the information for everything is. I'm trying to learn it, I just have this like aversion to social media. I feel like it's going to be the downfall of humanity. So 
I struggle <laughs> with, you know, embracing it. And, and you're vlogging. And, and, but I'm working on it, obviously, <laughs> as you can see with this vlog, because, like I said, when I first started the vlog, I said that one of the reasons why I started the vlog was to get over my fear of technology and my aversion to technology and social media. And it just, you know, because it seemed like a really cool thing and lots of people seem to have fun doing it, so why the heck can't I? But I'm really annoyed because there was something very specific that I wanted to say about Halloween Horror Nights this year. Can't remember what it is. But I would love to hear everybody else's thoughts, comments, favorite things. What do you love about Halloween Horror Nights? What are you looking forward to at Halloween Horror Nights? And any tips or tricks or anything that you want to give me, even though I'm a local, so that I can learn it really good and then next year I'll be able to give my own tips and tricks to other people. But, literally, you've heard everything I know about Halloween Horror Nights this year. I know it starts on September 12th. Can't wait. I know what they've posted. Oh, oh my goodness, this is one of the things I wanted to say. I feel like they would have announced more by now. It seems like they're taking a long time to announce everything because I don't think that that's all. That can't be it. It isn't all. Because it's like only a couple houses and a couple scare zones. We're missing a few houses, at least. So. I think at least three. Gotta look into it. Is there anything like you're, you you want in there? I know we wish there would be an it, but I don't think that's yeah, gonna happen. Yeah, something from it would have been awesome. <laughs> I feel like, like if they did, um, I know it's not really scary. But they could do, like, there was a ton of, like, vampire movies and stuff in the 80s. Like, they could do from Dusk Till Dawn. But they've done that one before. Huh? Yeah, and that was 90s, but they could do oh, Lost Boys. Oh, yeah, the Lost Boys was the 80s. So was, um, shit, I can't remember what it's called. There was another vampire movie that came out in the 80s. Yeah, you, uh, we right talked now. about it before. This yeah. Like, I can't think right now. Um, but yeah, I don't know. From the 80s, 80s, 80s. Because it's just the... One of the crappy things about them doing the 80s specifically is that a lot of the previous years they featured things that occurred in the 80s, like, you know, Freddy Krueger, you know, Jason, like all of those things, Texas Chainsaw, all of that stuff happened in the 80s. And they've already, like, done it. So maybe they're going to bring back something, like maybe they'll bring back, like, Texas Chainsaw or something that was really popular before but is also the 80s. I feel like... I don't know how, because I know Texas stuff. Chainsaw was 70s, but what about the sequels? The sequels I don't know. ran into the 80s. Was it in the 70s? Was yeah, it I, think I think it was. But, but I don't, Halloween and Nightmare on Elm Street both they, started they, in the 80s. They definitely, I know, uh, and they got a new Halloween coming out here in October. Too. Hellraiser. Oh, God, that would be creepy. <laughs> Let's get Pinhead in there. Uh, Hellraiser, Sandman. Did you ever see that one? I, can't, I don't remember. I might have. I've seen so many. Like, they're... So there's a Sandman, there's... It's just funny that I've seen more horror films probably as a very little kid than I have as an adult, because they just don't... I, I like the supernatural ones more now. But, yeah, but I do true. enjoy being scared, so we'll see. But there is Hellraiser, so like that one was in the 80s. That would be a good one. Know. Poltergeist. Poltergeist, yeah. I guess we'll see. I don't know. They're definitely taking their time. They really are taking their sweet time. I know that, like, the year that we went, it was kind of a big deal because um, Publix grocery stores had displays of the Halloween Horror Nights, like, tickets that you could buy in the grocery stores and everything, or, like, you know, mm -hmm. the cards for it to take to get your tickets. And uh, um, they, um, they spoiled stuff that they hadn't even announced yet because it was all over the display. So they didn't announce it, but it was up in the stores mm -hmm. before they announced it. So either the stores put it out prematurely, or, like, they didn't think that people were going to notice. I don't know, but they actually put on the box what was going to be there before they made the official announcements. So they, that was kind of funny. They learned from it. Yeah, they Puppet definitely master. learned from that. <laughs> Puppet Master would be great. <laughs> yes, Puppet Master. <laughs> okay. That one was, uh, th those things are creepy. But yeah, so, like, Hellraiser and Puppet Master, those were, yeah. There's a few other things that I've probably forgotten about, but I do know that a lot of the stuff from the 80s, they've already done. It's like, they've done it. They could bring it back because and it wasn't like some of it wasn't popular, but they have already done it. I like that Freddy and Jason and Michael mm -hmm. Myers are so popular, you yeah. never know they might. We'll Change it up see. a little bit. Like you get rid of the whole Freddy versus Jason and have a Freddy and a Jason, you mm -hmm. know. I don't need to see Michael Myers. 
You don't need to see Michael Myers. <laughs> Michael Myers would be the one I'd want to see. <laughs> I know, it's just, it'll be scary. Like, I'm going to scream my head off. Like, I'm going to freak out. I'll probably pee myself a couple of times. I'm going to wear diapers. I'm just going to, like, <laughs> screw it all. I'm just going to wear depends to the event. So, you know, when they scare the piss out of me, I'll be all prepared. <laughs> Throw some extras in the backpack. I'll be all right. Sounds good. But yeah, but I want to hear other people's thoughts and comments on Halloween Horror Nights. I want to know what people like about it. I want to know what they hate about it. I want to know, I want to know everything about Halloween Horror Nights because I am so excited. Like I haven't been excited for an event. Like I'm so excited for Halloween at the theme parks this year. I cannot wait. We're going to go to Halloween at Disney. We're going to go to Halloween at SeaWorld. We'll go to Hollow Scream at Bush Gardens. We're going to go to Halloween Horror Nights. We are not going to sleep until January. <laughs> because after that it's Christmas. So, mm. yay! Fun times.